Up next on the Green Update, we'll learn about solar energy and we'll take you up to Peterborough Utility Solar Farm for a look. And now, News Watch at 5.30 continues. I'm here today at the Lily Lake Solar Farm, just outside Peterborough, and I'm joined with Larry Dorn, the President and CEO of Peterborough Utilities, and Peter Butler, the Project Manager here at Lily Lake. I'll start with uh, Larry first. Larry, why did Peterborough Utilities decide that it's wanted to get into solar? Well, Peterborough Utilities is committed to building renewable generation. We have a number of hydroelectric facilities, the most recent just built last year. But we wanted to diversify uh, to get some less volatility to the water flows. And it offered a tremendous opportunity to do us, uh, show a new technology, but also to do it in an ec economic fashion. Okay. Now, is this something that, say, the average homeowner could do when they're at their own property on a smaller scale? Oh, absolutely. The microfit. Uh, program that the OPA has out, Ontario Power Authority. We have a number, we have literally dozens of people in the city of Peterborough who have begun the microfit process. Those are smaller, they're in the range of 10 kilowatts typically or less. So it's one thousandth the size, but it's still a possibility. Now what benefits will this project uh, bring to ratepayers and people in this area? Well, there's a number of things. First of all, of course, it's a renewable generation. It'll provide equivalent to about uh, 1,500 homes the amount of electricity. Given that, it's like five years gross for the city of Peterborough in electrical. So that has the climate change, the greenhouse gas advantages. It also, because we own owned by the city of Peterborough, it actually helps to reduce the taxes for the taxpayers of the city of Peterborough. On top of that, there's job opportunities. We have about 50 to 60 primarily local people working here. We have another 25 to 30 down at the assembly room building inside Peterborough where the modules are actually put together into panels. Okay. Peter, let's talk a little bit about this project specifically. Um, how are one of these panels or how is the whole project installed? How does it work? Well, we start off with uh, receiving the modules. Uh, they come uh, 27 in a or 28 in a box. Mm -hmm. uh, we take those modules, uh, we assemble them on, on, alum on a, a metal frame, mm -hmm. uh, and we have a facility in Peterborough where we do that. Mm -hmm. They're then mounted onto uh, a trailer. Uh, they're transported here to site. And then we have a fairly complex uh, machine that can pick those, those up and it places them on the ground screws that we've already pre-placed the, in the facility. How long does it take to install a, a panel? From the moment the, uh, the panel arrives here at the, at the site, uh, we, we're, we're targeting a 10 minute turnaround for taking it down, installing it, and taking the empty frame back ready for the next one. And you guys can work um, all through the winter as well? Well, we can work through most of the weather. It, uh, deep snow and freezing rain are probably uh, the days where we may have to uh, we may have to slow down production. What's the expected completion date? Uh, expected completion date is uh, spring of uh, 2011. Okay. Well, thanks to both of you for joining me today. Uh, we learned a lot today about solar, and we'll see you again next week on the Green Update. The Green Update is brought to you by Peterborough Transit. Come on board with our on-time services. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Greenup at 745-3238.